Well, it wasn't successful last time. <laughs> I, I, I assume this needs amended site plan approval for changing the layout of the parking lot. I mean, uh, I, of course, we're calling into question everything is whether it needs site plan approval these days. Uh, I think we've had several site plan approvals here over the years. Uh, if this is not, we can go through the same mechanism. If this is not a change that triggers any significant, ad, you know, then go without site plan approval, which is a field change for the layout. It's up, up to you. It doesn't dramatically change the layout and circulation of the parking as on the approved site plan. You're just adding a few more in an area that's consistent, so it doesn't trigger any uh, particular uh, you know, increase in uh, demand of the site, then go ahead. Treat it as, as long as it doesn't affect the flow. Doesn't. I don't any of the drives and run out. Well, amendments, what's your choice? Get going. Amended site plan? Field change. Field change, yeah. four, four spaces? Yeah. Five, four. Ed, Prolongation shown. And we have to have it, have it shown. You have a plan, you want it shown, black and white. So you want me to have a uh, site plan? No, no. I'll, I'll take a plan. You have a plan like this. Yeah. Show us where you're putting it. Oh, okay. Wow. Arthur? No comments. No comments? Michael? No, no comments. Do I have a motion to uh, for amendment on the site plan for full parking spaces for Inspire uh, located on Fletcher Street? Do I have a second? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. All in favor? I I Next on the agenda, Jake. Jacob or Jake? Jake. 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 That's, my, that's my grandson. Jake. How do you know that? Jake Crying, JK Properties, representing Jake Crying. I'm Elizabeth Mansfield. Liz Mansfield. Mansfield Commercial Real Estate, and I'm being joined by Chris DeHaan from Grand DeHaan Architects. Okay. You look familiar. I'll just give you a brief overview. Um, JK Properties, owned by Jake, uh, owns the building at 97 West Main Street, what we used to call Markers, right? Wasn't that the... Um, Wait, what's the name now? Cashmere Bazaar. Cashmere Bazaar is there, um, there's some offices there, um, we are on the corner, it's right on the corner of Walker and West Main. Um, we are going to be converting a portion of what used to be offices, about uh, 1,175 feet, uh, and currently retail space where Kashmir Bazaar is, which is about 551 feet, and putting in Asian, we'd like to put in an Asian restaurant. Um, we have the, uh, the state bar, <laughs> uh, Chu Cheng is here. Um, her family, in case you want to know, uh, her family owns so the next restaurant to in Yorktown. Uh, Go in there. If I can play with them, do you and go go. Um, so, uh, and um, I'm going to turn everything over to Chris and he'll give you the uh, rest of the story. Mr. John, let me just, uh, you've got the site plan now. I to say, and this is the plan of the building, um, and uh, this lay is right over the floor of the site and it's in that configuration right there. Um, this is the combined space of the, the rear space that we were just talking about, and uh, cashmere up front. Uh, uh, so the applicant wants to put in a uh, restaurant in there. Um, the, there is a, uh, a 
limitation on, you know, from a code standpoint, um, on a sprinkler system, they, the dining area will only allow for uh, 49 seated customers in the building. Um, uh, anything beyond that, a sprinkler system would be required in the building. So the, the, uh, what's being proposed is to limit the dining inside the space to 49, no more than 49, and the rest would just simply be taken out.